Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. Today I'm going to share with you five ways that you can eat for better skin, plus some foods that would really help. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. I've recently shared my nighttime skincare routine and what I do and how I really like to do a face mask once a week, but all of the products and like all of the serums and everything don't do much if you're not eating a well-balanced diet. You can't really cover up your bad skin by adding things to it and just adding stuff on top of your skin if you're not really helping yourself from the inside out because your skin is your body's biggest organ and it reflects everything that's going on inside as well. So I'm going to share with you five tips of how you can eat to have better skin, plus some foods that really, really help. So the very, very first tip is to cut out a lot of processed foods and sugars. When you have a lot of sugar, it really shows up as acne, and when you have a lot of processed foods, you're having a lot of really weird sugars in there. So it's not even natural sugars from fruit or anything, it's all the processed food, and all the processed junk and the preservatives that your body doesn't really know what to do with, and a lot of the times shows up on your skin. So the very first tip is super simple and it's really easy to do if you follow along with all the other tips and foods is to just try to cut out as many processed foods as you can. Of course, living in today's world, it is hard to completely cut everything out, but if you just reduce it a little bit, it will help your skin and you'll just feel better anyway. It'll give you more energy by cutting it out and you'll just feel so much better all around and that will reflect on your face. The second tip is to know any intolerances that you may have and how that can affect your skin. So if there are foods that you're eating that you know maybe trigger some acne afterwards, try avoiding those at all costs. I know when I have a lot of dairy and I do really, really good about not having any dairy at all, but sometimes I'll have an ice cream or have something here where there might be dairy in it that I wasn't aware. And if I do that for a few days or I would just have one day where I maybe have too much dairy than I usually do, it definitely shows up around my face. And then I have keratosis pylorus, so while my arms pretty much always look like this, besides the fake tan that's falling off, they it does get more inflamed and I do have it a little bit on my cheeks although it's pretty much flat but when I have a lot of dairy that does show up as a higher like the bumps are more raised in my KP and I break out a little bit more around my hairline and around my ears so knowing any intolerances that you may have will really help by reducing any skin reactions that you may have from eating those foods and tip number three kind of ties in with tip number two and it is to have good gut health. So it ties in with tip number two because if you are eating things that you're intolerant to, then your gut is really focused on dealing with that and getting your body in balance to where your skin and detoxing everything else kind of gets pushed to the wayside. So that will also show up on your skin. So having a good gut health by not having anything that you may be intolerant to and also just by taking prebiotics and probiotics I personally take the seed symbiotic, so it's both a prebiotic and a probiotic mixed together. And I love seed, not only because I'm a seed university ambassador, but because of the research and the, the depth and the knowledge that goes into this product. They actually just reformulated it. So there used to be a male version and a female version, and now there are basically just the female version because that one had two extra strains that the male version did not and they realized that those two extra strains that they thought were specifically for females are actually really important for male health too. So now if you order it, it is just one kind of symbiotic and I have a link down below if you wanna order it through me. They deliver it monthly so you don't have to remember to go out and buy it. And of all the probiotics I've taken it is by far my favorite. My gut has never felt better which just really helps with how I feel and my confidence too. So also like when you feel better and you're less stressed about being all groggy and like your skin looking bad, then it also continues to do better. Cause when you're stressed, that also shows up on your skin. So when you don't have to worry about the stress of feeling like crap from a not so healthy gut, then it just shows up as better skin. So getting your gut health in check, having probiotics and prebiotics, or symbiotic and making sure that you're not eating anything that you are intolerant to. Tip number four is to make sure that you have enough collagen. So collagen is produced within your body when you have protein and vitamin C. The hyaluronic acid and vitamin C 
binds with the proteins within your body and your body uses that for strong hair, skin, nails, your muscles, your joints, your bones, basically everything. So that's why a lot of people when they get older their skin doesn't have as much elasticity and their joints become weaker and it's because your body once you kind of hit 25 slowly reduces its own collagen production. So if you're not eating enough protein and vitamin C to produce your own collagen and keep that up on your own, you can definitely take a collagen supplement, try a few out. I know Vital Proteins is a very popular one. So if you worry that collagen may be an issue, your skin doesn't have great elasticity because great skin isn't just no blemishes. You wanna make sure that it's firm, that it's protected, and that it doesn't get wrinkly before you're like, I don't know, I don't wanna get wrinkles like too early. So by making sure you have collagen and that your body is able to produce collagen by either taking a supplement or ideally to not have to go the supplement, supplement route and eat a lot of protein and vitamin C rich foods. So the fifth tip of eating your way to healthier skin is to have omega-3s. So omega-3s are really important because a lot of people are out of balance in terms of omega-3s and omega-6s. And omega-3s are composed of DHA and EPA. So DHA is really good for your brain, and EPA is really good for regulating your body's oil production and keeping your skin really hydrated. So if you have higher oils, while I personally hate having oily skin because I feel like none of my makeup ever stays on, having oilier skin is actually really good because it prevents fine lines and wrinkles as you age. So if you have oily skin, yes, it's not always the most fun thing, but you won't get wrinkles as early. So making sure that you are getting those omega-3s in is really important for keeping your skin just full and plump and hydrated and looking youthful longer. So again, you can take this in a supplement, but it's always better to get it in food first. So having omega-3 rich fish like salmon or nuts and seeds. And now really quickly, some specific foods that you can eat to help your skin. So like I just said, fatty fish like salmon is really high in omega-3s and it also has protein, which is important for producing collagen. Other foods high in omega-3s are foods like walnuts and other nuts and seeds. Avocados, nuts, and seeds are also high in vitamin E, and vitamin E is really important for helping your skin fight against UV damage. And this is also shown if you have like a scar and put on vitamin E oil, it does help reduce the appearance of a scar. So obviously, if vitamin E can help you out externally, then ingesting it through food can help you out even more. Other foods include broccoli, which is high in vitamin C and zinc, antioxidant rich foods which will help fight against free radicals and foods that are really really high in antioxidants are leafy greens, a lot of fruits especially raspberries and having turmeric either as a spice on food or drinking it in a latte is really good to reduce inflammation so inflammation in the skin and just inflammation internally as well going back to your gut health if your gut is inflamed then it's more focused on that and your body's more focused on that more so than your skin. So having turmeric and just getting down the inflammation in your body is really, really good to help your body with its skin as well. So there are five tips to eat for your skin, plus some specific foods that you could incorporate into your diet for better skin. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your healthy skin tips are and what you wanna see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.